Legacy of Kids, most of you, I bet, didn't know that Mr. O'Connell illustrated a book called Manny the Lamb. I'm going to take just a minute, probably about five minutes, and read it to you. By the way, we miss you a lot, but I hope you enjoy this book. It's called Manny the Lamb, and he's right on the front cover, and he's so cute. A long time ago, in a pasture far away, lived a lamb named Manny. Manny belonged to the shepherd Jesse, who had lots of lambs and sheep. Shepherd Jesse loved and cared for each one. One day, Manny watched as the shepherd Jesse fixed part of the stone fence that protected the sheep from wild animals. Jesse and his helpers lifted the large stones and placed them on top of each other to replace the ones that had fallen out. I'm going to fix the fence today, Jesse told the sheep. Don't wander through the openings or you might get lost. Bah, said Manny. That's the sound a sheep makes when they talk to people. He's right there. Soon Manny's friend Joy came up beside him. Wanna play, she asked. Sure, said Manny. There's Joy, there's Manny. They're so cute. Manny and Joy ran and jumped and chased each other. After a while, Manny and Joy ended up near another part of the wall where stones had tumbled down, leaving a hole just the right size for little lambs to squeeze through. Manny looked at the opening. Let's taste the grass over there, the grass, he said over there. Jesse, Shepherd Jesse told us not to go past the fence, said Joy. We need to go back. Manny stared at the grass on the other side. I'll just taste it, Manny said. Then he squeezed through the opening. Manny nibbled some of the grass. Yum, this is delicious. You should come try it, Joy. Joy stood firm. No, Manny, you need to come back. I'll just eat a little longer, Manny said. This grass tastes so good. I don't want to stop eating it. Oh, see, there he is. Manny walked further and nibbled some more. When he turned his head and looked back, he could still see Joy. I know my way home, he thought. I'll just eat a little more. Soon Manny came to the bottom of the hill. He looked back and saw Joy. So he turned around and walked up the hill, eating more grass along the way. When he reached the top of the hill, Manny looked back again. Joy is still there so I can find my way home, he thought. He was starting to get full, but he nibbled more of the delicious grass as he walked down the other side of the hill. Manny saw a clear brook. He was thirsty, so he took a long drink of cool water. Manny knew it was time to go home. He looked around, but he couldn't see Joy or the stone fence. He did not know which way to go. How do I get home, he cried. Manny looked to the left, then he looked to the right. He looked in front of him and behind him. I don't know where I am, he said. Swish, swish, Branch, branches rustled in a nearby bush. What's that? Manny cried out. It's a lion. Shepherd Jesse always chases away the wild animals. I wish he were here to protect me. A deer leaped out from behind the bushes and ran away. Phew, Manny said, it's only a deer. An owl swooped, oh. Who who came from a tree branch. Manny jumped, what's that? He cried out, it's a hawk. An owl swooped down from the tree and then flew up into the sky. Phew, Manny said, it's only an owl. By now, Manny was tired. He wanted to lie down and go to sleep but he was too afraid. The sun went lower and lower in the sky. I wish I had listened to the shepherd, Jesse, Manny thought. The sun disappeared and the air got cold. Manny shivered. I miss my friends. We always stay close to each other to keep warm. Finally, Ma Manny laid down, even th though he couldn't see very far in the darkness, he kept his eyes wide open. Suddenly, Manny heard noises in the nearby bushes. The sound came closer to him. Manny jumped up and looked all around. What's that? 
Just then, Manny saw the shepherd Jesse walking towards him. When Jesse got near, he knelt down next to Manny. I finally found you, my little lost lamb. The shepherd said in his gentle voice, Jesse lifted Manny onto the big, strong shoulder, onto his big, strong shoulders. Now let me take you home. Manny was so glad Shepherd Jesse found him. As Manny rested on Jesse's shoulders for the trip home, he thought, I'll never wander away again. So that's it. That's the story. I hope you enjoyed it.